Hey there guys, Sean Michael here from WinBeta and welcome back to another video. Today is our next in our video series where we cover Windows 10 in depth. We're going to be taking a look at the calendar app inside of Windows 10. Now usually you'd see my beautiful face inside the lower right hand corner of the page, but because there are so many settings and personalizations inside this app, I'm actually just going to be here in the intro and the conclusion. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing I want to say is thank you for this beautiful wallpaper. If you'd like your wallpaper featured in the next video, just share it in the OneDrive folder that I put in the accompanying article for this video. So we're taking a look at the calendar app, which I really like. It's got the dark theme here. It's got a lot of different things that you can customize and it supports multiple accounts. So first things first is to show you how you can change what you see. So you have days, but you can also customize if you just want to see today or you want to see a certain number of days. You got a three day weekend, you can select three days or anything like that. You got so you got day, you got work week, you got week week, you got month. If you're busy looking at way down the calendar line, maybe you have a holiday coming up, something like that, kind of get lost. You can just click this today button. It takes you back. So if you're looking at the view here, you can see that I have multiple different calendars. One's in blue, one's in pink. You can select which ones are shown. If you go into this little hamburger menu and then you click one of these down arrows or see what's available. So if you want to see holidays in the UK, so you had Guy Fox Day yesterday, you have Remembrance Sunday coming up, you can select that on or off. This is great for if you have something like you know work calendars that you only want to see some of the time. Also works with a bunch of different accounts. Now you can customize which accounts are in there inside of the settings menu over here under accounts. So you can add a bunch. There's support for all different things, including Outlook, Exchange, Google, iCloud, and there's even advanced setup for some more options there. Other personalizations that you can do include colors. You can change the theme color here. You see that that's going around. Let me put this in light theme. You can do light or dark. So when you change the theme, it really does change a lot about it. You get the title bar change, the sidebar setting change as well. You can change your background. You can turn it for it's the entire background or just uh, different areas there. So that's really nice. You can see here, make this look like that. Looks great. You can also add your own personal photos, which is a nice touch. You also have calendar settings. So you, people have different schedules. This is why you need a calendaring app, right? So you can change what the first day of your work week is. You know, in France, I'm pretty sure it's on Monday. So you might need to set it that way. You can also say how many days are in your work week when it starts. Kind of, you can work seven days a week, five days a week, whatever. Unfortunately, there isn't a way to do non-consecutive days in a row. Hopefully, that'll get updated in the future. You can also change your working hours. So if you work nine to five, I think that's an old Dolly Parton song, right? So you work nine to five, there's that. But if you keep more of a night owl schedule, you can do that too. You can go ahead and say, hey, start that at 5 p.m. and end it at uh, 7 a.m., maybe the next day, you know, something like that. So that's really nice. You can customize that. You can also have week numbers and you can change different things inside of this app. Great feature also is alternate calendars. You can enable that. You know, if you want the Hebrew calendar shown, there's also support for a bunch of different other ones that you can see here. And you can change to uh, even other things like the, um, you see, if you, you see here that had the Hebrew lunar calendar, if you want to go like that. So that's great. Really good options there. I'm going to switch this back to mine, but it, you know, it's, it's great to have alternatives. Customization is, is always positive inside of apps. Now you may have seen here that these apps have, or these days have little weather icons and that's wonderful. You get a forecast coming up. This also shows up in month view, which is actually pretty nice. Now that's powered by uh, somebody I think it's powered by uh, Forska and you can change that to Fahrenheit, Celsius or match your regional settings. So that's great. You know, if you're used to one and you kind of move to a country that has another, it, it would be a big hassle to have to uh, follow that if you used to one your whole life. So that's it for like the customization, personalization, that sort of thing. It, it's really easy kind of to do and it's really easy to handle. You know, I really like it. it. It provides a lot of feedback in terms or a lot of customization in terms of layout. You know, it shows you the current time and, and everything like that. It's, it's honestly really solid. But that's just the layout. You have to actually use it. You need to be able to look at appointments, need to be able to set appointments. So I had a lot of things from my different calendars. So like last night I had football practice. If you click that, there's all sorts of details. You can edit this. It's, this is a series because you got to practice every week or at least at least every week, right? So you got to keep that up to date and you can edit that series. You can say how often do you want it to repeat? Maybe you want it to only repeat every other week. If it's you know something you only do bi-weekly. 
you set an end date, you can have different, you know, starting times you can easily share with your friends, change the title, and even add notes. So that's really nice uh, for, for events that are already there. You can also add events and the menu is going to look really similar. But before you get that full size menu, you get this little itty bitty menu for just basic details. You can say, you know, post video is right there. You want to post that video, you'd add time. You know, is it all day events, not an all day event, something like that. Then you get that more detail and it looks, I want to say exactly the same because, you know, that is what it is. You're just altering the details of that video, which is wonderful. So, yeah, the calendar app, again, it's not super powerful. You know, I wouldn't say that it completely replaces the paid version of, of Outlook calendaring. It doesn't have quite every feature. But for it to come with Windows 10 is really nice. It's got a really sweet level of customization. And you can really make it look like you and support, you know, what you want for your calendaring needs. So that's it for this week's video. Next week, we're going to be taking a look at the Mail app, which is directly connected into this calendar app in terms of settings and all sorts of different features. See you on the next one.